There it is. We should call this uh, special meeting to order. It's uh, April 18th, 2017, 5 p.m. Um, we'll go straight on to the uh, second uh, order of business. Uh, and that is, we, I will entertain a motion for the appointment of the position of mayor pursuant to KRS 83A.0402A. Uh, Mr. Butler, yes, sir. in order, I make a motion to appoint Dick Keaton to serve the unexpired vacant term of mayor. If his appointment is approved by the council, it would be effective today and expire December 31st, 2018. I yield the floor for a second. Second. Have a second for Councilwoman Copeland. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we'll let the record reflect it. Uh, now, Mayor Keaton did not vote. Um, uh, next order of business is swearing in ceremony. And understand. Judge Jack Kelly is here to perform that. swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of this Commonwealth and be faithful and true to the Commonwealth of Kentucky so long as you can continue a citizen thereof and that you will faithfully execute to the best of your ability the office of mayor of the city of Hartstown according to law and do you further solemnly swear that since the adoption of the present Constitution you being a citizen of this state, have not fought a duel with deadly weapons within this state nor out of it. Mm -hmm. Nor have you sent or accepted a challenge to fight a duel with deadly weapons. Nor have you acted a second in carrying a challenge. Nor aided or assisted any person thus offending, so help you God. I do. Congratulations, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. say life does have a lot of odd twists and turns. Uh, you know, this is not something I probably expected to be doing at uh, this particular day, but it, I think it is appropriate that Judge uh, Jack Kelly did uh, do the, the honor of uh, swearing me in. Uh, first time I was sworn in as mayor, and uh, I had my brother, Judge Bob Heaton, do the honor, and uh, I think it's very appropriate that Jack succeeded my brother in his position after my brother passed away, so I'm honored that you could do the service today, Judge Kelly. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Certainly want to thank the council for your uh, vote of confidence. I want to thank all of you for the hard work you put in over the last three and a half months. Uh, there's a lot of work for us yet to do. I particularly want to uh, thank Councilman and, and Attorney John Kelly for the extraordinary work you've done on behalf of the council and the citizens of Barstown during your short term as a city councilman. I need to thank all the citizens who have encouraged me to accept this position and who have encouraged me to run for this position uh, when that time might have come. Finally, I need to thank my wife, Alice, for the tremendous support she's given me recently and throughout all my years of service previously in state and city government and public service. I'd like to thank our sons, Jonathan and Nicholas, uh, for their help. And they understand the sacrifices that I have to make and the sacrifices that they have to make uh, when I'm not available to be around when they, they might need me. You know, 
know, I do not want uh, today and the days ahead to be about me or the person that previously occupied this position. Uh, starting immediately, this needs to be about us, all of us, the City Council, the staff at City Hall, the citizens of Barnstown, and Nelson County. All of us need to be united and pulling in one direction to move our city forward and to restore the confidence and trust of the citizens we serve. Please be patient with us. Do not judge us by a few decisions that we may have to make. Judge us by the full body of work that we're going to put forward in the coming months. We'll work diligently to address the problems and try to correct them as quickly as possible. But we will have to give the time necessary to do the job right. Fixing these problems was a frequent question as I was out campaigning last fall. People would say, well, can the next city council fix all these problems? And as I said, read this while I know about being patient. You know, as I stood on those porches or in their living rooms, I, I likened it to this. I'd say, you know, someone could bring a trico or a baco into your yard tomorrow morning and they could tear your house down in a matter of hours. It would take someone months to rebuild that house. And that's where we are today at the city. But I do know with the commitment of these individuals I'm serving with that we will work diligently to correct those problems. Our brand has been damaged, but it's not destroyed. We all know what that brand is, the brand of America's most beautiful small town. Spring is a time of rebirth and renewal. We will take advantage of this opportunity to rejuvenate Barstown. I'm very excited about the future of Barstown. There are many great things happening here in Barstown as we speak. There's a tremendous amount of new investment in industry, and there's also a tremendous amount of expansion investment in industry here, in existing industry. There's been solid year-over-year -year growth in tourism and hospitality for the last several years. We have a very vibrant downtown and a very healthy, small business economy. I'm honored to serve as your mayor, and I'm particularly honored to serve with these individuals of the Barstown City Council. Thank you all very much. And now I'd uh, open the floor for any comments that the council members may have if they want to address the people here or have anything to say. I'll just say a few short words. I, uh, I want to thank you for stepping up the plate and taking over a, probably a difficult position. I want to thank all my fellow council members for working with us and working together through this. And I look forward to working to make the city better. And hopefully we have all the media down on a report on the positive things we're going to be doing now instead of the negative things. Thank you. Thank you. Councilor Kelly. I'd like to say I think we made the right choice. I've sat in that seat where Dick is now, and it's not always easy, but uh, we do have a good, solid group of councilmen that uh, we get along well. We know what needs to be done. We've uh, made a commitment to do those things, and uh, I think you'll see a lot of positive things happen in the next few months. So I'm looking forward to putting up with Dick as council like I do every day at work. Thank you, Councilor Shepherds. And, uh, Mayor, I would like to thank you for saying yes. Uh, I knew it was a major sacrifice on your part to assume that position, and uh, I'm, uh, I really appreciate that, and I know our constituents do as well. So uh, anything that I can do or we can do to help, your, help you govern, just, just let us know. Thank you so much, Councilman Williams. Yes. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you, you proved yourself uh, in your last term. Some of the great things you did for downtown, especially the Main Street uh, uh, renovations and so forth, made a big difference in our city. And I think the biggest thing you bring here, Dick, is uh, you have that passion for Barstown. And that is so important, and it means a lot to you. Thank you for taking over. Thank you, Councilor. I guess I'll go last. <laughs> um, well, I didn't get a chance to serve with you. This would be my first time serving with you, Mayor Heaton, and um, I'm very excited. Um, I, I see you as a teacher. Um, 
and and as council member um, Butman said you're passionate about what you do and um, that will trickle down to us as well um, this is a council that loves its its community and um, and so I have to say thank you to the community to the city of Barstown and to the Nelson Countyans thank you for sticking with us thank you for your patience and thank you for sending all the positive um, notes and texts and messages that we could carry on um, this was not easy this was very hard and so now as I look at the council and the mayor I, I do believe we have a unified group of individuals that will carry Barstown to the next level. We look forward to seeing Barstown in the future and, and what it will do um, and can do for all of our uh, Barstonians and Nelson Countyans. So thank you so very much. Thank you, Councilman. Councilwoman Copeland, I gotta start remembering you to say that. <laughs> Uh, yes. Of course, next week, I think on our agenda, our normal regular meeting, we'll, we'll be, uh, uh, I think, having a vote on a replacement council member at that time, appointment of the council member at that time. And uh, yes, this is a big commitment on my part. Uh, uh, I don't know if anybody out there in Barstown uh, knows this, but there'll be a few phone calls I'm going to have to make in the next few days, letting a few organizations know that I'm probably not going to have the amount of time I've had to devote to them over the last six years that I have, but uh, I think they will understand, and I, I think this is a, uh, it's obviously an honor, but it's, um, in my family, I've told this before, there's uh, been four generations of us that served as, as mayor, and uh, public services uh, was something that was taught us in our family and, and somewhat expected, so I, I followed a long line of people who previously served public office before me and it's something that uh, we feel an obligation uh, but it uh, quite frankly I know that I've got some relatives uh, that are not with us today that my wife would always tell me sometimes what would your dad have said and I, I can't say it exactly how he would say it but he would tell me to step up to the job and uh, I know he would have and uh, I think I could count on a lot that I learned from him and People like Gus Wilson, my uncle, and Pike Conway, my uncle, uh, and, uh, will serve me well in this next uh, few months of this position. So unless there's anything else, uh, I guess we can adjourn. Uh, can we have a motion to adjourn? Yeah, a second? Second. Okay. All in favor, oh, excuse me, any discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed? Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'll move so you're not trapped. Mayor? <laughs> <laughs>